Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. In just two months, IRCC eliminates 350-000 applications for Canadian immigration. Well, in this episode, we'll discuss on latest updates on Canada immigration. So, to get all the information, pay attention, and watch the video through to the end please hit, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. By early December, immigration, refugees, and Citizenship Canada had decreased the large backlog of applications from more than 2.5 million to a little over 2.2 million. Since September 30th, we have witnessed a decline in our total inventory of over 350,000 applications, said IRCC spokesperson Remy Lariviere to Immigration. Temporary residence programs have experienced the most substantial decreases. The decrease in the department's inventory can be attributed to the IRCC processing applications more quickly 4.3 million permanent residents, temporary residents, excluding those with electronic travel authorizations and citizenship applications received final decisions from IRCC officials in the first 10 months of this year, nearly 87% more than the 2.3 million final decisions made during the same period last year. Additionally, study permits are expected to break a record the IRCC processed over 593,000 study permit applications in the first 10 months of this year which is about 30.3% more than the roughly 455,000 applications handled during the same period last year. Additionally, from January 1 to October 31, 2022, Canada issued nearly 645,000 work permits, as opposed to about 163,000 during the same period in 2021, according to Lorivier. We are also on track to meet our record-breaking goal of admitting over 4,31,000 new permanent residents in 2022, with almost 3,88,000 of them having already been accepted between January 1 and October 31 of this year. The federal government changed its stance earlier this year in response to criticism in the House of Commons regarding its backlog of applications it now refers to all applications pending before the IRCC as its inventory of applications and only those that have been in the system for longer than allowed by the service standards as its backlog. According to Lorivier, this backlog currently makes up 54% of IRCC applications, in his words. We will keep doing what it takes to get there we remain on schedule to accomplish our targets to reduce overall backlogs and process 80 percent of new applications within service standards the ircc's processing capacity was increased because of a hiring blitz throughout the fall months the ircc's backlogs have decreased as a result of a hiring drive that aimed to add 1250 new personnel according to the most recent ircc statistics the number of citizenship applications in the department's inventory has decreased from 387,368 in the middle of July to 314,630 at the end of November, a decrease of about 18.8%, or 72,738 applications. Despite a slight decline of 1.7% from the middle of July to the beginning of October, applications for permanent residents are still down from their mid-summer peak. The inventory of applications has recently, however, increased a little, it presently stands at 512,342 applications, up just three-tenths of a percentage point from the 514,116 in mid-July. Temporary visas, including work permits and study permits, have seen the most significant modification in the list of applications to the IRCC applications for temporary permits decreased by over 14.3% in just two months, from 16.51, 6.49 in early October, to 14.16, 1.25 in early December. As you may see in the table shown on the screen permanent residence applications by immigration category as of December 2nd of economic. For the family, class see the table shown on the screen. Next comes humanitarian and compassionate public policy.
now, permit holders class and protected persons. Finally temporary residence applications as of December 2nd. Go through the table carefully. Study permit applications decreased by 23,003, or more than 17.1%, from 133,981 to 110,978, during those two months as the start of the academic year approached, but study permit extensions increased by about 7.9% to 33,842. The number of people waiting for temporary residence visas decreased by about 17.3% from 9, 12, 8, 46 to 7, 54, 9, 51 over two months, while the number of those applying for work permits decreased from 3, 15, 3, 16 in October to 2, 85, 2, 46. There are still roughly the same number of applications pending for economic programs almost precisely 202, 200 applications for permanent residency under the economic immigration programs are still awaiting processing this. Figure is unchanged from two months ago the number of requests for family sponsorships has also somewhat increased. But the protected person program has a lot more uses than that early in October. There were around 96,830 applications for refugees that were both privately and publicly sponsored. Two months later, that figure had hardly altered. However, throughout those two months, more protected individuals who had already arrived in Canada submitted petitions these individuals sought permanent resident status based on what was deemed to be a well-founded fear of going back to their place of origin and filed for refugee protection status while in Canada. There were 23,435 of these applications at the beginning of October, and over the next two months, they increased by 17.4%, or 4,077 applications, to 27,512 at the beginning of December. That is all we have for today, in this episode. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know, in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire episode. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.